This is our D to E engine class. I guess, well, we'll see. We may be able to launch these on seas. We'll let you get back to you on that. Uh, but the issue is these are canards. There's not a whole lot of information out there on um, the ins and outs of canard stability, and I will confess I'm not an expert on it. I have a lot of experience flying canards, but they're not really my area of expertise. So all we're trying to do here is just explain to you how to trim canards out. So this aircraft is uh, is very, very stable design. Uh, the way we've set it up is to, to minimize the trouble that you'll have. So the, we've got a, a very generous vertical stab. And the reason for that is the CG for this model is right about here. So you see there's very little moment arm for that rudder uh, vertical stab relative to the rest of the aircraft. So we need to make it very large to compensate for that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Generally, you want to hold hold this around the CG right in front of the wing. You can just toss it. And you see it floats away really nicely. Now, this um, this airplane has never been flown. So what I'm going to do is, I know the CG is right about here, which is very similar to that one. So it may fly right off the board. I've got a big wad of clay just in case. And we um, on these we have a. a uh, slot here to slide as much weight in as you need to. So here it goes. We're holding it exactly the same way. And we're just going to slide it into the air. And it's actually acting like it may be a little nose heavy. However, let's try throwing a little harder this time. Still doing it. Caleb's in the way, so we'll throw over this away. I think I do know what the problem is. Yeah. Okay, so if you notice, it kind of hooked off there. So we're going to bend the, um, we're gonna bend the uh, rudder. And what you want to do after doing something like this is uh, re-glue it. I didn't bring the glue with me, so we'll do that later. All right, we're still diving. I'm gonna put a wad of clay on here, but ultimately I don't think that's the correct solution. We'll address it in a minute. Okay, so we're still diving, so we're going to add some incidents to the canard to deal with that. So one way of doing that is just grab this canard right here. And you notice I cracked it. We'll re-glue that in a little bit. Right now we're just trying to Put a little bit of extra camber in there. Let's see what that does for us. Oh yeah, big difference. All right, I'm not going to get too much further into the details of, the, of all that, uh, just because you've got a flying airplane at this point and you're good. So from that point, you can tweak, uh, experiment as needed. Uh, we'll try to link to a few articles down below. And that'll give you some more insight into how some other folks address uh, trimming canards. And uh, if you come up with any feedback on what we're doing, let us know. By the way, like I said, I you know we cracked that trailing edge down here. I want to re-glue that before you try flying this thing with a with a rocket in it. So anyway, have a good evening. We'll see you later. Look at that.